Traveling the country as a TV producer puts me in a lot of amazing places. While on a shoot in Moscow, Idaho, the crew and I had to go out and taste the local beer. We're going to go to Coeur d'Alene Brewing Company for BeerAmerican.tv. Before we get there, let's meet the crew. So my name is Chris Clifford. I just worked with this uh, Yahoo uh, Paul something. I don't know. He, uh, yeah, whatever. I spent like five days with him in the middle of nowhere. He yelled at me all the time. Then all of a sudden he says, well, let's go have some beer. I got this really weird beer blog. To, I don't know. So anyways, I can handle like two or three beers. Yeah, yeah. this is going to be interesting. Uh, listen, guys, you know, you keep the camera in the back, and I'll be all right with this whole block here, okay? So it's a beer tasting thing, and back in my day, I, I did a lot of beer tasting. It's been 19 years, so we're going to find out what happens to me after 19 years of not drinking beer with Paul. What do you think, Paul? Uh, my name's Bobby Clifford. Yeah, we're gonna go taste some beer and tell you what we think. Welcome to another edition of BeerAmerica.tv. We're in Moscow, Idaho, and the Coeur d'Alene Brewing Company. Well, the Coeur d'Alene Brewing Company was founded decades and decades ago in Coeur d'Alene, right on the right on the lake. Um, it got shut down in, during Prohibition for the first time, and was refounded. Uh, in 1989, I believe, and reacquired by the current owners in 2001. Uh, since then, they've been making beers, making fine ales. Uh, we sell them here in Moscow at the Ale House and at our sister sister location in Spokane, the Steam Plant Grill, and of course at the Brew Pub in Coeur d'Alene. I think the Idaho beer scene is taking off. Um, when I was growing up, I don't think I knew of any microbreweries, and even though I was, um, I love beer, it's what I do, but um, since then, there's one here, there's one There's one in Coeur d'Alene, there's a new one in McCall right now, and it's just several in Boise. I think it's just exploding. This is the decade of microbreweries so far. Bob and Chris, what did you get? I don't know, he went, well, the little of the fila is really good, and I said, sure, I'll take one. Uh, this is the bourbon vanilla stout, and I like stout beers, so I'd have to, I'd have to say it's pretty good. Um, it is on a little on the sweet side with the vanilla, but uh, I like it. So whenever you're drinking these things, these sampler platters, you're supposed to go from the lightest to darkest, because that's the best way, because if you drink the heavy beers first, all the light beers aren't going to taste as good. So we're starting with the lightest. So far, the, the one I'm drinking is my favorite. At the moment, this is the one I like the most, right here, you know? I mean, what more can I say? What are you drinking? Huckleberry! Huckleberry! And it freaking tastes like a huckleberry. It's good. Huckleberry, a lively fresh ale featuring the official fruit of the state of Idaho. This slightly sweetened ale was created with selected pale grains and Pacific Northwest hops, then blended with the pride of our region, huckleberries. So, I know there were huckleberries here, but there's huckleberries here. It's pretty cool. The Centennial. Very good. Oh, my favorite is always water. <laughs> no, the Scottish is. I think I might have one more Scottish. It uh, it was just a nice, even blend. It wasn't too bitter. I mean, you could do the bitter beer face. You should. Yeah. See. <laughs> You're watching Beer America TV. You screwed it up. You're watching Beer America TV. 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 With water. <laughs> You're watching Beer America TV. Aha! We got it. All right, what's the Huckleberry? <laughs> <laughs>